Justin Fields. Now, one of the hottest names in fantasy right now. People can't get enough of him. But he is absolutely covered in risk. And there is a chance that he just completely falls flat on his face this year. Yes, when he's been on the field and running last year, he was a phenomenal fantasy asset. He was a complete superstar. But we have yet to see him consistently pass the ball to a level that means he will be a future franchise quarterback in this league. He can't just run to be successful. We saw last year the Bears, when they handed the offense over to him in the rushing game, they won one game for the rest of the year. So the Bears have got two first round picks next year. It is going to be a loaded class. Let's talk about some numbers. Justin Fields, he was 20th of 33 in EPA per drop pack. He was 29th of 33 quarterbacks in completion percentage over expectation. And he was sacked more than any quarterback in the league. And I'm, I can hear people saying, but that's the offensive line. No, sacks are a quarterback stat, not an offensive line stat. Justin Fields is a phenomenal athlete. He is a phenomenal fancy player when he is on the field. But there is absolutely a concern that his passing is not going to be in a, of a level that means the Bears commit to him long term. And there is a, a scenario that at the end of this year, the Bears have potentially got two mid to high first round picks and they decide to go, right, let's go and get Caleb Williams or Drake May or, or one of these superstar quarterbacks. And I just think that for me, if I was a field owner, I would be looking to kind of, potentially divest some shares. Yes, I still want some fields because I think when he's a fantasy player, he's going to be phenomenal. But there is absolutely a scenario where he could be out of a job in a year's time. And I don't want to be left holding the bag if that's the case. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely looking to pivot off him, whether it's a case of I can go and tear up to one of those elite three. I would quite happily, you know, take a sideways step from Justin Fields. My favourite move is to go and get Trevor Lawrence. I would take Trevor Lawrence over Justin Fields straight up. But I think you can go to the market now and get probably Trevor Lawrence and maybe a second round pick. Maybe maybe it needs to be two thirds to for, for Justin Fields right now. And I, I know that I feel so much safer about Trevor Lawrence moving forward over the next two, three years as a fancy asset than I do with Justin Fields right now.